As we were watching that story, Ashley said, Brandy is a rock. Uh, isn't it wonderful that you, you can have a rock in your life that says, well, I'm not going to tell JB what the doctors are really saying. And the reason I'm not going to tell, them, tell him that is that God hasn't told me anything different. I'm going to choose to believe God's report. God's report says that he forgives all my iniquities and he heals all my diseases. There's a fundamental concept just in the Hebrew language in, in how they talk about word, that it's, it's speech, but it's also as you speak it, it becomes a, a thing. It comes into being. So God watches over his word, and the Hebrew is devar. He watches over his word to perform it, that in the announcing of it, it becomes real. It becomes tangible. That's why Hebrews says faith is evidence of things not seen, the substance of things hoped for. So for Brandy, for JB, the hope is I'm going to walk again. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've had, I had a horrible accident but God is with me through this, and he's going to see me through. He is able, and let me add to it, he's willing. That's why Jesus came. That's why he, he said, I'm, I'm willing to take the cross. By his stripes, we are healed. We were healed. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. It's from the love of God that all of these things flow. And when you get that, when you get God loves me infinitely, he loves me so much, he was willing to come, he was willing to die for me, and in his death, I find new life. He came that I might have life and have, have it more abundantly. That life is not in a wheelchair. That life is not in paralysis. That life is not in cancer, disease. You can put your own disease there. Life isn't in that. That's not God's will. If you have any doubt about what God's will is, look to heaven. Is there anybody sick there? Is there anybody poor? Is there anybody depressed? Is there anybody lonely? The answer to all of those is no. The reason is God won't allow it there. That's not God's will. So we're supposed to pray that God's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. So let that picture of heaven give you hope. Let the love of God work in, in you to produce faith. And in that, announce over yourself a creative word, God wants to heal me. I join with his word. He heals all my diseases. He forgives all my iniquities. He wants me to be his child once again. He wants to unite with me to do great and wonderful things. So, Ashley and I are going to pray. What I'll ask you to do, in an act of faith, because faith can be a verb, in an act of faith, lay your hand on that area of the body that needs healing. If it's throughout your body, lay your hand on top of your head. We will agree with you. And then say it out loud, announce it, and let that Hebrew word come into being for you. That as you announce things, just as JB and Brandy, they announce things and they saw progress over time, you can have the same tangible effect by speaking health over yourself, healing over yourself. Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, as people are joining together, as they're laying hands on that area of the body that needs healing, Ashley and I join with them. And we say out loud, be healed and be made whole. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. He died for me, that I wouldn't have this pain, I wouldn't have this disease, I wouldn't have this infirmity anymore. I receive all that he has for me now. I claim it. I name it out loud. In Jesus' name, I am healed and made whole. There's someone you've had a back injury to the middle part of your, the right side of your back. 
um, and you've got broken ribs and problems with your shoulder blade, God is healing all of that. He's able to knit all of that together. You're feeling a release from all that pain, all that difficulty. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Ashley, God's giving you some. Yeah, I specifically heard tongue tie, and I'm not sure if this is for a parent who's watching with a young baby who has a tongue tie and it, it affects uh, breastfeeding, but I believe maybe there's somebody else watching a uh, young adult, an adult who suffers from a tongue tie, and this prevents you from from speaking and, and, and doing normal activities. And I just believe God is literally healing that for you right now in the name of Jesus. You're gonna to begin to speak normally and have conversations and not stumble over your words like before. I just believe God is healing you of this in Jesus' name. I believe this is a general word for anyone who has any stuttering problems, mm. any issues with your speech. God wants to heal and restore Make everything normal yes, that you will never stutter again. He wants to heal you and be with you. Yes. Uh, just as Moses complained, Lord, I, I stutter. I, I'm not the one. You are going to be able to speak yes. and speak clearly. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Amen and amen. If you've been healed, let us know. Call us 1-800-700-7000.